Greetings, this is Chaplain Bob Walker. This is going to be not so much a Bible study, although I will do some Bible verses. Uh, this is going to be on something to think about with the Trump presidency. These, uh, This first picture you're looking at is Trump with one of those, what is it, yamaka on his head. And then the next one is Antifa, which is the anti-fascism movement which is funny because they act like they're fascists. And then you've got the Trump leading the Israel Pride Parade in New York City. And then you got uh, Mike Pence. And you got uh, Trump in front of an Israeli flag. Well, then, as we go into it more, you take a look at communism in Russia. Now, everybody's heard about the six million thing of the supposed Holocaust, right? But what you don't hear about is the Christian Holocaust that happened in communist Russia under communism. That happened, oh, less than a hundred years ago. And what a lot of people don't know is Karl Marx, the... I guess he's considered the founder of communism. He wrote a book on communism. And, you know, the thing is, the only thing that's really true communism in this world is probably bees and ants. Everything else is fake. But Karl Marx's grandparents were Jewish rabbis, both his grandfathers. He comes from a long line of Talmudic rabbis. And then you can, you know, when you start taking a look at communism, you find out that there's an awful lot of Jewish names. Matter of fact, there's a guy by the name of Frank Britton, author, Frank Britton, B-R-I-T-T-O-N. He wrote a book called Behind Communism. Take that book, look up the names, go to the Jewish Encyclopedia, and you will find out that is... Communism is very, very kosher. So, Anton LaVey, his real name was Levy, he was the founder of a the Church of Satan. Yes, he was Jewish too. And uh, what can I tell you? So, this Antifa, what's interesting about Antifa is they say that when the purge, which is communists speak for when we kill all those Christians there's not going to be any racism well yeah because they're going to kill all the white Christians uh, there's not going to be any homophobia and transphobia and all the other things that they talk about let's see let me take a look and well I could read everything for you the thing is uh Antifa is really, uh, they've been going around causing all kinds of trouble. Now, the thing is, uh, a lot of people don't know it, but after the Russian Revolution in 1917, in the early 1920s, right after World War I, there was a communist revolution in Austria. Austria is that country that speaks German. They're south of Germany, and they're east of Switzerland. And there was a communist revolution there. They took over the government, I believe, for about three days. Well, all the World War I vets went home, grabbed their hunting rifles, and said, you know what? We're not going to have in Austria what happened in Russia. So they killed the communists. They went and they, the people rose up and killed them. I mean, got rid of them. Well, guess what? There was an awful lot of Jewish names of the, among the dead. So, but the National Antifa Front says, uh, thus we are left with only one option to do what must be done, but take heart after the purge, that means killing all the Christians, all the whites, 
We will live in a worker's paradise free from racism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia, and oppression. You see, Christians are oppression to these people. So, all right, well, in the, um, you got a bunch of, uh, let's see, what else? Well, Antifa is solidarity with Israel. What does that tell you? Karl Marx was founder of communism and his grandfathers were Talmudic rabbis. What can I tell you? Matter of fact, um, Stalin, he was probably, he's considered the second largest mass murderer in history. He murdered millions of Christians. His wife and children spoke Yiddish. What does that tell you? Was he? I don't know. But uh, they murdered millions and millions and millions. Matter of fact, the African National Congress, uh, heard of Nelson Mandela, which everybody fawns themselves over. He used to hang out with this Jewish communist by the name of Joe Slovo. And for those of you that don't know it, they're murdering all the whites, Christians and what have you. And uh, why did God allow this to happen? Well, personally, I believe it is because of the Russian church, all the, um, they had basically turned into rituals instead of saving grace of Christ, they, you know, their pictures and statues, and they weren't much different than the, the Roman Catholic Church as far as their worship services, as far as I know. A lot of the clergy had wives and girlfriends uh, at the same time. And I believe the Lord just said, you know what, if they're not going to honor me, I'm going to get rid of them allow Satan to get rid of them. And if you don't understand that, I suggest you read the book of Ju uh, Judges. When the people were oppressed, they would uh, repent and cry out to God. God would send a deliverer. Perhaps you've heard of Samson. He was one of them. And then when the people would get fat and happy after they'd been delivered from their enemies, um, they'd go back. Same thing. America is in the fat and happy mode right now. We've forgotten God. We have let the Antichrist, and if you don't know what an Antichrist is, allow me to enlighten you as to what an Antichrist is.